Mark 2015. And I'm sitting here with Sayyid Raza Haider Saab. He is a professor. Can you tell me a little bit about your background? What have you been teaching in Bayer? Um, I am, have a doctorate in uh, immunology and I have taught and done scientific research, biomedical research in the field of biochemistry and immunology. I taught at the uh, University of uh, Illinois Urbana-Champaign, New York Medical College and uh, <clears throat> uh, more recently I work as a scientist uh, living in the Bay Area. Okay. Uh, Mr. Raza Heather uh, came to, when did you come to America? I came to U.S. in 1991. Okay, and where did you do your doctorate? In England. Which university? University of Essex. Okay, so you, you studied in England and then you came to Champaign. I ran a Champaign as a, as a lecturer and research scientist. And here you are telling me about a book. So when did you become an author? I have written scientific papers. Uh, chapters and books, review articles uh, in, in the field of immunology. But this is a field that I have uh, personal interest in, in the background of Pakistan, this political situation in Pakistan. I am just, just read that on my daily basis. And uh, the story, the, the Waziristan region is very close to me because when I lived in Islamabad as a child, in Pindi and Islamabad, we have neighbor. We had neighbors from this part. Okay. And they they used to bring they, their relatives used to come, and I would. Uh, <clears throat> so I know their culture. I know their background. And uh, what I when I read about them, I read very carefully what is happening. When did you finish this book? When was it printed? It was published last year uh, in April. Can you tell me briefly about this book? Yes, it's a book about uh, a girl who is living in Waziristan, a normal family. Where is Waziristan? Waziristan is the northern uh, mountainous region of Pakistan, sandwiched between Pakistan and Afghanistan. Okay. And this is also sometimes people know it as FATA, the federally administered, uh, administered uh, tribal area. Okay. And there is a lot of uh, violence war uh, going on in that part and I just wanted to tell the story of a regular people who are affected by, by that war and the problems that are going on. Okay. So what is the theme of, I mean, why do you select this topic? There is a, there is a girl from that part and that's true by the way. There is a girl from that part who started playing squash. Uh, at, a, at a very high international level. And when I read that news, I was really surprised knowing their culture, knowing their background. How did she do? How could she play squash? How did they even have a squash board? Where did they play squash? So I started thinking about it. And that's my imagination that how could they have played so squash? They are girls like Manala from exactly. Pakistan. Yes. And what is the name of this girl? In in my story, her name is Amna. Amina. But uh, in the real world, there is a girl. I don't remember her name. But she used to play squash, uh, and and I just made that story. Okay. So you want to show the actual life of this girl in Waziristan? Correct. Correct. Okay. Very true. That I wanted people to see generally what are the regular people. Okay. How are they living? What are they facing? How much difficulty they are facing? And what is the culture of Waziristan? I always tell my uh, friends here that, you know, U.S. has been involved that part, U.S. and the West has been involved in that part since 1979. 
when Russia, Soviet Union attacked Afghanistan. 1979. 1979. They have been involved there in the war and all that. And it's still going on today. And people here do not know even the word Waziristan. So I just wanted people to get some education from this. Okay. See, they are, there was a movie made, a movie called Charlie Wilson's Book. Yes. Okay. And the book. And the book. I know the book. And Winston Churchill in <laughs> 1890 yes. went to Afghanistan yes. and this area and he wrote a book. Yes. In that part, Winston Churchill, the Prime Minister of England. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then there is an author from Fremont who wrote a sky yes, runner. runner. Mm -hmm. yes. Now I see another book from this area about Wazirstan. Yes. Okay. I am going to publish this interview on YouTube. And I am going to give you the credits of what you want, uh, your name and everything, where people can get this book. Good. I would like you to put it on Amazon.com. It is there. It is there. It is there. It's on BarnesandNoble.com, and you can get it uh, on uh, any 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 form. Any, it's, any it's, it's available okay. everywhere. Okay. And Mr. Raza Heather, you feel that you have been able to portray the right geopolitical situation of that area through this book? I have tried. Okay. I have tried my best and I, anybody who has read it has been very impressed that they have learned a lot about that part of the world. Okay. And the book is called A Tulip in the Desert. A Tulip in the Desert. And the name really means that tulips don't grow in desert. Okay. Similarly, a girl like that doesn't is not born every day in Waziristan kind of environment. Okay. Very conservative. Very difficult, very conservative and yet she's a brave a girl who is following her dreams and all good dreams. She's not doing anything bad. She's doing great things, very inspirational for young children. Okay. Uh, so Have you considered making a movie or a documentary on this? I don't think it can be a documentary because it's a fiction, so it cannot be made into a documentary. But, but a movie, uh, yes, a movie will be, yes, definitely. Very. Are the facts true in this? Can it no, it's a fiction. It's no, a no, fiction. I, uh, but you, the fiction, see, like it's Gone a, with the Wind, yes, was civil war fiction. fiction. Exactly. But it's very true. Exactly. Excellent example. It's just like that. It's fiction based on true events. True events. Yes. Like if it says here, for example, that drone bombing is happening there. That's true. Drone bombing is happening. Taliban terrorism is happening there. Yes, it's true. But what happened to this family is a fiction. Okay. Now, which time frame are you talking about? Which year? Recent. Now. Contemporary. Now. Yeah, contemporary. Total contemporary. Con totally contemporary. Okay, right. fine. Thank you very much. I'm going to uh, put this on YouTube. Thank and you. I'm going to have a... When is the book launching? You said March? March 21st. Okay, so there is a book launching on March 21st. Mr. Raza Heather will be here at Mirchi Restaurant. And this book will be launched. So From 3 to 6 p.m. 3 to 6 p.m. Mirchi in Fremont, Saturday. We would like everybody to come and join and ask him all the questions that they want to ask. Know everything about it. And I wish you luck. Thank you. I wish you Thank all you the best. Very good. Nice. Nice. Thank you. Thank you very much.